Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. This video is about Luminar and moving your Luminar catalog. So not your photos, but your catalog. A few weeks ago, I'd done a video about how to move your folders of images, say moving them to an external hard drive and keeping all of your Luminar edits intact. Got some questions about, well, what about the catalog? You know, can I move the catalog around? And you can, and the catalog's actually a little bit easier to move. I'm gonna show you two different methods in this video for doing it, although one of them only applies to Mac computers right now. So uh, the first method I'll show you applies to anything. But what I wanna start with is explaining why it's easier to move the catalog than it is to move your photos. So let's look at this diagram here. This is not the best tool for, for drawing, but it's gonna work for us. So uh, let's say we have this situation, right? We've got a Luminar catalog, and it has a few folders of photos referenced by it, and that's all what you normally see in your Luminar view, and it's on your main computer, and you wanna move things to your hard drive. If you watched the video I did about the folder moves, you learned that you have to be a little careful with it. You don't wanna lose your edits. You don't wanna move things outside of Luminar if you can avoid it. So what happens is these pointers, like this catalog is referencing, it's pointing to a particular folder. If I grab that folder and move it away, well, what happens is the catalog doesn't know and you're left with an unknown pointer and in the catalog the photos disappear along with all of your edits so that's bad news right so i described a method in the other video of how to get those folders moved properly to a hard drive and maintain those pointers so let's update the diagram so we're in that state and then talk about moving the catalog You've gone through that other video, you've moved your photo folders over to an external drive, and now you want to get the catalog there as well. You want to have everything on an external drive. You can move it around from computer to computer, do whatever you like with it, a very mobile workflow. Well, the cool thing about the catalog is these references, these pointers, these arrows that the catalog knows where to find these folders. We can take the catalog and move it wherever we like, and these pointers remain the same. So I can take the catalog and just move it to the external drive. We'll pretend I had enough space there. There you go. And all of those pointers remain intact. So that's the cool thing. You can just move the catalog and the pointers remain. So let's go through that. I'll simulate having an external drive. My stuff's already on an external drive, but I'll, I'll do a move anyway so we can see how it works. And then I'll show you a method for doing it with backup and restore that is Mac only. But first, let's just move the catalog using the finder or the explorer. So in Luminar, you've got all of your folders of images and there's a catalog organizing all of these. The first thing to do is figure out where your catalog is. Go to the file menu, catalog, and show in finder explorer to find out where on your system your catalog is. So once you show that catalog in the Finder or Explorer, it's highlighted by Luminar, and that is highlighting the actual catalog data file. And there's a few other things we see in here, right? I'm on a Mac, so I see backups, I see this cache DVDB thing, history. These are all different things that Luminar is using to keep track of photos in your catalog. We want to move all of that. What we want to do then is move the folder that's holding all of this catalog stuff. When you create a catalog, you actually just give a folder name. In my case, I used SDP Luminar 4, and then all of this stuff gets created. We want to move the container, right? The folder that's holding all of our catalog stuff. So let me switch the view here to a more grid-like thing. And if I go up one level in my hierarchy, here is that folder, SDP Luminar 4 that is the folder that's holding my catalog. I want to move that to a new hard drive. Now before you move the catalog, you want to stop Luminar. You don't want to yank the rug out from Luminar while it's running. I'm gonna quit Luminar, pop over here. Let's quit Luminar. And for the sake of simulation, let's take this catalog and move it to this folder I have here called external HD. Right? In reality, you'd move this to an actual external hard drive. I'm gonna go into that area. And what I like to do is make sure it's there, first off. And instead of launching Luminar, Luminar's gonna go, uh, where's that catalog you wanted me to open because it's not where I was used to finding it before. I'll actually go to the original, or the, the newly moved catalog. 
right click on it and just say open with Luminar. And the catalog opens back up. All of my photos are there. All of my edits are there. I can see my ratings. I can see the little indicators. I've done edits. Everything's fine. The catalog has been moved. All those arrows, all those pointers have been maintained. Now this method works on Windows, it works on Mac. You're doing things at the Finder or Explorer level. Just make sure you shut down Luminar, move the, move the catalog. So recapping that really quickly. You run Luminar and say, show me where my catalog is. File, catalog, show in Finder or Explorer. Close Luminar. Move the containing folder, right? The folder that holds your catalog to your hard drive external hard drive, wherever you want to move it. And then lastly, find that catalog file on your, your hard drive there, open it, do a right click, open with Luminar, and you're off to the races. The next time you open Luminar, it's going to open the catalog you previously opened. So at that point forward, you're running off of your catalog sitting on your external hard drive. Now, if you're on a Mac system, you have one other option to do this, and that's using Backup and Restore. And you may feel a little more comfortable with that because you know, you're not uh, moving anything per se. You're actually using Luminar to do the entire uh, you know, management of this catalog move. So let me walk through that process here as well. Okay, so in this setup here, just to describe what I have on screen, Here's my Luminar catalog, the one I'm working with. And on the right side, I have a Finder window open. It happens to be my desktop. And this actually happens to be a different hard drive than where I have this catalog. This catalog is out on this external hard drive. My desktop is on the internal hard drive on my computer. The first thing I'll do is in Luminar, go to Catalog, Backup. It'll ask me where do you want to put the catalog. I'll choose my desktop. Just say save it out there. And this Luminar backup file gets created. And so it goes and chugs and works along on that. And I can hear the drive still grinding a little bit. So I want to give it a minute or so. You can see the progress going along the screen there. So you'll know when it's finished, right? All right, so the backup is complete. I have this one file out here with a Luminar backup name to it. And the backup, it, it takes on the name of whatever your current catalog is, right? My current catalog is called STP Luminar, and so that's my backup file. Now, I've made that backup, and what's interesting about the restore is you get to choose where you restore. So if I say restore from backup, first thing I need to do, I'll go to my desktop, I'll choose my backup I just created, and Luminar is going to ask me, well, where do you want to restore the backup? And I can choose anywhere I like. So I can choose an external hard drive. That's why this method is nice. This is very smooth for the Mac OS because I can do this from within Luminar. And let's say I want to restore to my desktop. In my case, I'm taking the catalog off my external hard drive. I'm moving it to a different hard drive. And I'll choose desktop. I'll give it a name. Um, Let's say, I'll just say it's been moved so that we can distinguish the difference between the two. And then we'll restore from backup. Notice on my desktop, there is now a new folder, what I just called STP moved. If I go in there, what do I see? I see those same types of files I saw before. I see a catalog with the name of my catalog with a .luminar extension. I see history, backups, DB, all those things. That backup got expanded out. And now if I look in Luminar, Preferences, I can see that I am in fact using that catalog that is now sitting on my desktop. So if you're a Mac OS user, I would advocate using Backup and Restore to move the catalog. I never had to close Luminar. It made sure everything was intact. You're using Luminar's knowledge to do everything. But that may not be an option. If you're a Windows user, we don't have that right now. So uh, hopefully both of these methods you know, close, the, close the gap so you can see both sides of, uh, of this equation. But the key thing is because the catalog is pointing to folders of images, as long as the you know, catalog move around anywhere, as long as those folders where you've told the catalog, go find my photos, in this place, as long as I can find those photos, you can move the catalog anywhere you like. So uh, hopefully that 
gives you the full picture. If you started Luminar with everything internal on say your laptop or your desktop and you're wanting to move your photos out and move your catalog out to an external hard drive, check the other video I talked about moving the photos. I'd say, you know, you can do it either order. I'd, I'd move the photos first just because it's more cumbersome. You know, gotta get through that part of it and that's the part where you really wanna be on your game. Got the video uh, in the link below. You can, or in the show notes below, you can see the link to the other video. Then go ahead and move your catalog and you'll be good to go. Hope you found it useful. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. I'll do my best to be uh, prompt with answers. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.